Consolidation Committee update. Um, Chief, we have the presentation, and we can uh, go step by step, and I, along with Director Woods, and hopefully yourself, will be able to clarify some of the presentation provided to us by Magellan. And I would ask that my uh, fellow board members from Inner Kenya, if you want to interject anything, um, by all means, because I know that you sat through the presentation. It was a lot of information. Um, the, the consolidation committee has, when did we start just initial discussions about this? Before COVID. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this, this COVID this happened and then we took a little hiatus. Director Woods and I were talking about it either yesterday or today about um, how long we have been working with the chief on consolidation in terms of what this uh, possibly could provide to the community and, and trying to work with our partners in North Fork and Inner Canyon. And um, so this has been a long endeavor too, just as Director Wagner and Sharon were talking about the efforts that they put towards the website. This point that we are at, that we can provide the survey results, is exciting for us. So as you see, you were going to get the same presentation that we received um, last week, I think it was. And this presentation was catered to each specific fire district. So last night, Inner Canyon presented the results of their district's findings. We are presenting the results of our district's finding, and North Fork is next week or later this week? Next week. Next week. So we're not going to present Inner Canyon's results. You had an opportunity if you wanted to sit uh, in their board meeting last night. They're not going to present our results. This is going to be specific to what we found through Magellan's strategies, Elk Creek Fire Protection District Opinion Survey. And I am going to do my best, and I would ask, again, don't hesitate to interject on anything that I'm presenting if I, I step over something. But um, just as a show of hands, who here completed the uh, survey regardless of what district you're in? So by and large, everybody. So I won't have to belabor you by going, reading the, the points. You understand the intent uh, and the questions. But as you see, as we go to the first uh, slide, the survey goals, it's important for everybody to understand um, that our attempt was to learn more about the community's perception on fire and emergency service and preparedness. To gauge the awareness about the services provided by their district. To understand the community satisfaction and quality offered by the district. And then to de determine the community's attitudes towards the potential consolidation. This is the beginning of the beginning as um, we are working towards uh, the, the possibility of what consolidation may or may not look like with our partnering agencies. Um, <clears throat> some specific information, uh, if we go to the next slide, Jake. We were able to receive 711 registered voters from Elk Creek that participated. Those results are are very good in terms of what surveys typically are. They're usually, uh, if I remember, it was in the 2, 3, and 5 percent range, and we, we were um, above that. The, we all know that the, well, if you don't know, the interviews were conducted November 16th through the 14th. The data was weighed to be a representation of voter turnout through demographics on an odd year election because they feel that odd year elections are more uh, consistent with the type of turnout that we would get if this budget, if, if this issue uh, appeared on the ballot. And then the margin of error, of course, is uh, plus or minus 3.56% with a 95% confidence rate. As we go to the next slide, it shows what that 21, 2021 turnout was in terms of age, sex, and party affiliation. And that gives you an idea, that is what they suppose will be the similar turnout in this uh, potential election if this were to go on to the ballot. Any questions on that? And if you can see it, good God. All right. Yeah. As we go to the next slide, the first question was, 
do you think the fire risk in your community has increased, stayed the same, or decreased over the past few years? Overwhelmingly, 64% of those that were surveyed thought it had increased. Um, there are uh, there were two percent that were unsure, and then um, I would imagine they are new to the area because anybody who's aware uh, who lives here is aware of what our concerns are. Um, as we go to the next question, how much of a concern is the risk of wildland forest or open space grassland fire in your community? In the Elk Creek community, seventy three percent of those respondents felt that there was a big concern and only 1% felt that it was no concern at all. Well, interesting. And then even those that it's not too much of a concern are a concern, if you ask me. Do you believe the fo the next slide. Do you believe the following statement is true or false? The number of volunteer firefighters, EMT, and paramedics have decreased over the last five years. Now, for those in this, in this uh, environment, we... we I know we have a lot of people that come to this meeting a lot, so we're, we're familiar with that. But surprisingly, the majority thought that this was true, is that it has decreased. Uh, now, it's, it's minutely uh, higher than those that are unsure, but it is markedly larger than those that don't believe that to be true at all. And just in Colorado, I know that we are 3,000 volunteer firefighters short. So we know that there is a, uh, a significant issue that Chief Ware and Chief Sherlaw and our other chiefs that are, are dealing with as they address the protection issues of our community. Next slide. Do you approve or disapprove of the job Elk Creek Fire Protection District is doing to provide fire protection services and emergency rescue services to the community? Well, that's a nice um, acknowledgement for our our sister and brother firefighters in uh, Elk Creek and Chief Ware and his staff where we have 86 percent approval rating. The next slide. Do you think that Elk Creek Fire Protection District has the financial resources needed to provide an acceptable amount of fire protection service to the community? 65 percent thought that there was not enough financial resources. Now I know Chief Ware does his best and we see uh, uh, Monthly, we hear from Treasury Director Woods that uh, we are doing our best to maintain a balanced budget. But um, the perception out there, and uh, which is important for us to recognize, is that the resources uh, could be increased. The um, next slide. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? The Elk Creek Fire Protection District is fiscally, fiscally responsible and spends taxpayer money wisely. And 58% believe that. And again, anybody who sat through uh, Sharon's presentation should know that. The next slide. Would you support or oppose a property tax increase to generate additional funding at, for the local fire protection district? Now this, this should be telling because oftentimes we know that uh, anytime there is a discussion and an increase of taxes, that it's typically shot down, that uh, there is not uh, a total, there is not support for it. But to have 75% totally support this question uh, shows that there is a belief in what we are doing and how we can better support the, the community. The, the facts are the facts in terms of the, the results of the survey. Now, the a very touchy subject, the mill increase. When we go to, the, I'm sure you're on the next slide, Jake, and we'll go one more. <clears throat> As a point of context, the, and it, I'll let you read this, but follow the bouncing ball, as they used to say when I was a kid. There may be a question, this was presented on the survey, and you may or may not remember it, but there may be a question on the ballot next November asking voters in the Elk Creek Fire Protection District to consolidate with Inner Canyon and North Fork and to raise property taxes by 3.5 mills to generate $1.5 million in additional funding to create a new fire protection district. The additional revenue would be used to hire full-time firefighters, EMT, paramedics, and update aging en engines, equipment, and continue to provide ongoing critical training opportunities for staff and volunteers. 
For voters who live in Elk Creek, this, this was the telling piece to give context to what this might actually involve. For voters who live inside of Elk Creek, the ballot question would increase the current fire district mill to, from 12.5 to, to 16. The mill levy increase will cost a homeowner about $121 annually, or $10.14 a month, for a home valued at $500,000. And that is a medium uh, average that Magellan determined for the area. If an election were held today, would you vote yes and approve or vote no and reject a 3.5 mil property tax increase to generate the $1.5 million in additional funding? Um, now, the next slide. As you look at the results, again, overwhelmingly, people voted, uh, people chose on this survey to approve, or they, that they would approve an increase in the mill by 74%. When you look at that and you break down that 74% to the boxes un underneath, the definitely yes, the, four, the 40% 40% threshold, Magellan says, is really where they want to be for any type of ballot issue to have a degree of potential success. If they can get a definitely yes at about 40%, then they, um, they feel that it is worth pursuing. Elk Creek came in at 42%. Am I missing anything, Sharon? Was that it? Did, did, did I miss anything? Did yes. I recall it was 60%? And I don't know if that's the sum of definitely and probably yes. So that's definitely probably when we go into the okay. next level. Okay. Yeah. So, and thanks for pointing that out. This is okay. just the initial so, question addressing the, the topic. Combined. That's probably. Got it. We're good. Okay. All right. Now, uh, next slide, Chief. Condol consolidation and the 16 mil increase information questions. That's ranked by um, total much more likely. Ranked by total much more likely. Grammatically, I have no idea what that means. Um, but below is some information about why the Fire Protection District would be considering a ballot measure to consolidate and increase property taxes to create additional funding. After reading the information, and I think this is what you were alluding to, now they're becoming more informed. After reading the information, please indicate if you are more like if you are likely to vote yes, approve the ballot measure, or to consolidate. So, as people went through, there was somewhat of a point of information. There was point of information that was provided, and um, what they um, let's see. Top three messages for Elk Creek is that the 400 square miles covered by the three districts are some of the highest risks. Um, highest risk fire areas in the state, and as mentioned, three fire protection districts rely heavily on volunteer, volunteer fire or EMTs and paramedics. Mill levy increase were to pass, it would allow the consolidation, and then if the mill levy tax increase were to pass, the consolidated fire protection district would be able to cover increased costs for the fire protection district, medical equipment, and so on. Now, as they went through they asked the question again after they provided that, that information and we're on uh, uh, informed question at 60 Mills, Chief, uh, two slides later. Okay. So again, we provided the information, Magellan provided the information in the survey. Now, we went up to, if you look at the following question, <coughs> Asking after ed, after a slight bit of education, and providing the question again, that number jumped to seventy nine percent from from seventy four percent, so five percent increase. But the definitely yes would approve went from forty two percent to fifty percent. So that um, even more so in the area that Magellan feels that it, it would be appropriate to move forward with the consolidation question. Um, and since you have already presented, could I provide those results for yours? I have them right here. Do you have them? 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes. So this question, when uh, provided to Inner Canyon's constituents, uh, was initially 53%. They had a higher rate of uh, believing that this was an important piece of, of um, approving the bill increase. And theirs jumped from 53 to 58%. So uh, again, a market approval for what the information is providing and how that mill increase could um, affect positively our constituents. Did you want to add anything about um, Intercanyon for the, on that question? Uh, no, we, uh, overall, I'm going through the results from Intercanyon as you are. And mm -hmm. I would say that the feedback is within one to two percentage. The trend is roughly the same as mm -hmm. far as the feedback for our residents in Intercanyon. And, um, just a point of clarification, my understanding is from the consultants that if you have the sum of those two blue, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but um, in the approval of 60% or greater, that that is a strong indication of support if the ballot initiative was on a ballot. Okay, so I might be mistaken. Chief, do you remember what that threshold share? Because I did email with yeah. Magellan, that was my understanding. That was my understanding too. Yeah. Was the 60? sum of the blue. Yeah. Uh, the sum of the two were sixty percent. The sum of oh, the sum of the two. The sum of the two. So yeah. we're, were, we're well yeah, we're above well that. Over yeah. the sixty percent threshold that Magellan indicated is very positive in terms of presenting this to the constituents. Yeah. Okay. And if that definitely yes is fifty yeah. percent or higher. Right. Well, it went Thank from you. it definitely went from forty two percent. Before the education the, piece, yes. to now 50 percent, 53 percent, whatever it's 50 percent. Yeah, I can't. Okay, next slide. Elk Creek Fire Protection District consolidation and 16 mil increase question. Movement from movement from uninformed to informed, and this is basically clarifying exactly what we were just talking about. A five percent increase on the uh, um, the positive with the uh, um, eight percent increase on a definitely yes, and then uh, three percent on a three percent reduction on the total no, which is um, interesting, and then uh, two percent reduction on the undecided. Now, uh, these are I know that uh, Director Newby and I have talked about some of these things. Uh, these next two slides I think are really give some clarity on what our constituents think. So the first are going to be the positive, positive, uh, res positive um, Perception. opinions of, our, of these people. So you will see on the next slide, Chief. Um, this uh, first unaffiliated voter, over 65 equipment gets old, we need trained protection. Since the population is increasing, we need an increase in more quality uh, fire protection. The second one down, uh, adding additional full-time personnel, better equipment and training, or add, uh, stating, add additional full-time personnel, better equipment and stating. Next one down, um, uh, male Democrat, 55 to 64. This is a high priority matter and should receive appropriate funding. Uh, the next one down, uh, uh, Female Democrat, 35 to 44, increase in response times, overall increase in safety and services to the community. And then uh, finally, one of the last points made was from a 65 over male Republican. High fire district, need the support of all firefighters, need fast response times for EMT. So those are the positives. The themes you can see is vital to the community, increase the safety, risk of fire is changing, growth, climate change, and so on and understanding that the need for new equipment and staff. Now, the next is on the other end. Those that do not believe <laughs> that it is important. We're just going to go blind. We're, we're just, we're yeah, just stand by. <laughs> stand by. <laughs> she didn't like the negatives. Thank you, Mother Jacob. We don't need those. We can continue. So no negatives. Yeah, no negatives. Director Pixley, uh, yes, yes, how many yes. people voted on that? Uh, what did we say? 700 and... 711. And that was just Elk Creek. That was just Elk Creek. Yeah. How many people voted in yours, do you know? We have... 346. Yeah, 346. The goal overall was 400 across all three districts. Yeah. Um, and we had close to 
13, 1400. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Um, that range. I did email the consultants and said, hey, you know, how do we know if we didn't just get a bunch of errant respondents? And they said they track it by IP address. So any uh, individuals attempting to respond more than once, only one submission would be received. So they found some. Um, well, I just it was a, a marked increase from what their goal was. So I said, how do you know? You know, if you're only getting one response per party, and they said by IP address, they're able to take out any. Well, that's comforting parties. to know. Yeah. So it's a little yeah. bit more accurate. And that answers some system. of the things. Some yeah. scrutiny. I think that some of us might have had. Mm -hmm. a you want me to send cold over there, Chief? We'll make a second alarm out of this. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm on the struggle bus. Yeah. 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 Who knew you were going to have three slide presentations? It's like being back in college, huh? That's showing up. Hey, Mike, did you get that email? I just sent you an email from your questions last month. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, some got answers already. Yeah, but the, the, the accounting chart. Yeah, and Sharon had provided it to me, and I forgot to send it to you. Oh, so it's in your inbox. Right. Well, Chart of accounts. I put it together. Yeah. So you can throw a tomato in the I did have one question on that. So you say in your billing, entertaining for certain things. Mm -hmm. Where is that coming in on the on the account? It's got, it's, it goes into separate accounts. So there's a group of accounts for maintenance, and that 50% of those accounts are billed to entertainment. There's a, a section for prevention, and 50% of those oh. accounts are So it doesn't come in on income accounts? No, it doesn't come in. It's in expense accounts. Okay. All right. Is that yeah. yeah, just all sets yeah. in yeah. yeah, it just all sets in there. Yeah, it just all sets in I think so. Chucker, are you comfortable with me just reading the slide? Uh, Sharon, are you comfortable with me just reading the slide? I'm fine if you're just reading the slide. Okay. All right. Uh, for sake of your all's time, and um, I'll just go through some of the, the reasons why people would vote no. So there, there's, there were three specific themes that they picked up. They would not vote no for tax increases. Taxes are too high already. The second was the belief that there would be a decrease in the level of service. And the third theme was um, they would support consolidation, but not support tax increases. Those are people that would vote no and reject the ballot. Some of the rationale, and it, it, this is important for us to hear, uh, a male 5564 registered as an other party says that I believe there would be a decrease in services and locations. We are at the edge of coverage now. I don't trust a consolidation move. I don't trust a consolidation move would increase services. Another male, 65 plus, unaffiliated. Property values have increased incredibly. And with those increased values, taxes have gone up already. Another uh, comment made by a male, 18 to 34, unaffiliated. Elk Creek can't afford to hire and retain enough paid staff as it is. Considering or absorbing two other fire departments who have no paid staff doesn't make any sense. A male, 54 to, uh, 45 to 54, Democrat, I am 100% supportive of consolidation, but you are asking for an outrageous mill levy increase after taxpayers just voted on a major tax hike for the fire department just a couple years ago. Property taxes have been skyrocketing too, with property values blowing up the last three years. And the final comment that they provided is a female 45 to 54 Republican, we are taxed enough, no more taxes. 
So uh, I, I thought it was relative for them to give two completely opposite sides of the spectrum there. Uh, for us to have a better understanding of what the flavor of the community is. Um, no, we got that one. What's that? Okay. She's um, I'm just taking notes and trying to clarify. Now, after all of that, the final question was, although it is a long way off, how likely are you to vote in the November 2023 election? And of those uh, 700 plus respondents, 91% said they are extremely likely, 7% said they are very likely, and 1% said they are uh, uh, somewhat likely, and 1% said they are unlikely to vote. Uh, when we look at the survey demographics, this too is relative. The split between male and female survey respondents is 50-50. The split between survey respondents in, term of, in terms of our um, political parties, I'll go from highest to lowest, 41% are unaffiliated, 32% were Republican, 26% were Democrat, and 1% was other party. And then to give some demographics about uh, what how much you make a year, the, the highest proportion was 35% at 70,000 to 149,000 a year. And 30, the highest proportion of respondents was 65 over at 36%. Now, uh, I know that I'm throwing a bunch of information out there, but this is going to be presented on the website for everyone to digest. It was just presented last night at Inner Canyon. It's uh, uh, presented to our board members yesterday, and um, now it's going to be presented to the public for your for your digestion, and so that you can look at this. But what it showed, what we have been provided, is that there the the community is interested in efforts to pursue consolidation. And what we need to do now, since we know a little bit about how to prove how to move forward is uh, um, is to find out what the next steps might be through Magellan.